For the ALH3 Lewis structure, let's add up our valence electrons first. We can see that aluminum is in group 13, sometimes called 3A. It has three valence electrons. And then hydrogen is in group 1. It has one valence electron, but we have three of them. So we'll need to multiply that. And 3 plus, turns out to be 3, is a total of six valence electrons for ALH3. We'll start by putting aluminum in the middle of the Lewis structure. Hydrogens always go on the outside, so we have our aluminum, and let's put our hydrogens around the outside. Next, we'll put electrons between atoms to form chemical bonds. We've put six valence electrons around the aluminum. We only have six to work with. We know that hydrogen is an exception to the octet rule and only needs two valence electrons for a full outer shell. So all of the hydrogens, they're okay. The aluminum only has six. But aluminum is also an exception. It only needs six valence electrons for that outer shell, that highest energy level, to be full. You can calculate the formal charges for each atom in this Lewis structure, and you will see that the charges are zero, meaning that this is the most likely Lewis structure for ALH3. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.